Hello, and welcome back to the farm. So I've been extremely busy both yesterday evening and this morning. I've been down to the store, I've fed the chickens, and this is the result of my hard work as well. I think that looks pretty pretty nice to me. I've been working really hard on that. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. I haven't tested it, but it's got all the bits. There's no reason why it shouldn't all work. And I will be trying it later. Obviously, we won't be flinging any muck later, but I will be testing it later. Anyway, now it's time to head down to our other field. The oats are ready to harvest. And the harvester should be being delivered within the next sort of half an hour or so. So, uh, yeah. I've asked for them to, to deliver it out to the, to the front of um, Sheila's farm so that we can unload it there. It's a lot easier. Should fit through the gateways nicely because it's a nice narrow width. I think the head is only uh, 3.5 metres, 3.6 metres, something like that. So it'll fit through the uh, the double gates, no problem. And then we can start harvesting. Now, I'm a little bit concerned that there is some rain in the forecast. And, um, yeah, so I'm a bit, a bit worried about the rain in the forecast. Hello, morning. And, um, well, obviously we can't harvest in the rain, but it, according to the forecast, it, it really shouldn't last very long. So we should be able to get this harvested today, whether it's before or after the rain or a little bit of both. Uh, obviously then, I have to wait for it to dry out again if it's after the rain, but... Let's see how we get on uh, before it's supposed to. Yes, yeah, supposed to rain about two o'clock. So hopefully, a couple of hours will give us a, a, enough time to to get it done. But we shall see. So while I've been uh, leaning up against the wall, waiting for the uh, the delivery truck to arrive, I've been reading the paper, and well, look at this. I've got a headline here. UK economy is crashing. So, this is not good news. Basically, what it means is that from now on, we're going to get less for ev we're going to get less money for everything that we sell, whatever it is. But the prices of things aren't going down as well. The economy's really going to struggle, and well, so are we. So, um. It's, it's really bad news for farmers. But we're still going to try and carry on. We're going to try and progress. Um, we've got a lot going for us at the minute. We need to be more frugal than ever. We need to make sure we get through the winter. Anyway, with that sad news out of the way, I think I can hear a lorry coming. So absolutely brilliant. It's arrived. Look at it. That looks that looks really well looked after. Oh, I'm excited about this. I'll just go speak to the driver. Thank you, mate. Right, okay, so we need to get this removed. Um driver's gonna put the ramps down for us. Right, and uh, he's he's asked me just to back it off because he's not used to farm machinery. So we'll uh, climb up here. All right, look at this. This is this is incredible. All these switches and levers and being out in the open air. Oh, it's going to be dusty. Anyway. Oh yes, bursted into life. 
Right, now let's back it down. These mirrors are any good. Yep, they are. Brilliant. Hello. That's weird. Engine just shut off on me. Right then. That's it. Unloaded. Let's take it into the farm. I probably should have opened the gates before I uh, got on this thing, shouldn't I? Right then, let's jump down. I'll tell you what, the linseed in that field is coming on lovely. Look at that. Beautiful crop. If only we could get a field that big. Well, not that we'd have the equipment to, to run it, but... Anyway. Oh, not again. Don't tell me it's already got problems. I might have to talk to the dealership about this, if that's the case. Right, let's get this over here. Okay. I'll um, get all sorted with the... Uh, just hop over the wall. Get all sorted with the driver here. And he can head off and uh, and we can we can start the combine work. Right then, off he goes. Nice guy, nice chap. Anyway, it's time for us to get the field harvested. So let's go. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I was blue in the wind. Anyway, time for us to get the field harvested. So let's get this fired up. Uh, hopefully we won't have any more problems with it shutting down, but if we do, I'm, I'm going back to the dealer. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, get some harvesting done. Oh yeah, so it's, it fires up nicely, it just shuts itself off. I know it's an old, with 30 years old, but it shouldn't be doing that. It might, it might just have a problem with the spark plugs or something, or... Oh, sorry, it's diesel obviously, so it might be a problem with the... Uh, uh, it'll be fuel injection or air, that's the only things it can be. Anyway. We need to start this harvest. Oh. If it's going to carry on doing that, that's going to get old fast. Alright, well, we've got to get it done with this, so let's crack on. Wow, this is dusty. <coughs> Probably should be wearing a mask. <coughs> right, I'm going to send the drone up. We're going to get this done as fast as possible. Hopefully with not too many shutdowns. These shutdowns are getting a little bit ridiculous now. I think I'm going to call the call the store and get Isaac to sell someone down to have a look at it because they sold it to me. It came from them. I 
shouldn't have to suffer because of that. I think um, next time it shuts down, I'll be doing that. Okay, so we've just had a shutdown, but conveniently, it's also full. So we need to get it emptied. So I need to go get the trailer and bring it around here and get it emptied. And then I think we're going to get it. i tell you what, let's just take it back to the yard now. We'll give Isaac a call and see if someone's going to come and have a look at it. It's not really on. I, I paid £8,500 for this and it keeps shutting down. So I need to. I will need them to come and have a look at it. Right. Let's get the auger out. Right, it's just started raining, so I'm going to put it under cover. See if we can get the trailer filled up in there. This is um, a bit of bittersweet day, really. It's our first harvest. Our first harvest since moving to Carmston. Uh, it's raining and the harvest has been delivered knackered. Anyway, let's see if we can get it emptied. That's emptying nicely. Get as much in the trailer as we can, and I'll straighten up the trailer and, and cool the. Uh... Oh, it's died again. Right, well, I'll leave it there. Uh, if we do this quickly, it won't get too wet. Back in, back in. There we go. Oh, I can't believe this. What a day. I've still got the rest of the field to harvest. Well, this rain can't go on forever. The forecast said it was only supposed to be a shower, so we'll have to wait it out. In the meantime, I'm going to cool the cool the garage, uh, cool the, the dealership, sorry, and get them to come and have a look at this. Okay, welcome back. It was only a quick shower, about an hour later. So, um, Loki's turned up from the, uh, this is the service guy from the garage, brought their van over. He's had a good look at the harvester and he can't work out what's wrong with it at the minute. So he's phoned back to Isaac. Um, they understand that I really need to get, uh, to get the harvest done today. And so they're going to loan me for free because obviously they've sold me a dud. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to loan me their brand new rental harvester so I'm just waiting for that to arrive now 
I had a spot of lunch while I was waiting for the uh, the guy and while he was looking at the har the uh, harvester there. And uh, and now, yes, we're, we're just basically going to wait a little bit for the rental harvester to arrive. And uh, fortunately, that will give the um, the crop a chance to dry out a little bit as well. Because it's, uh, it's now, now turned really hot again. Really beautiful. In fact, the balloon's gone up since we've been... Uh, since it's dried out. Uh, yeah, forecast is really good, so it's turned it's turn really warm again now. So all we've got to do now is just wait for the um, wait wait for the other harvester to arrive, and then we're we're good to go, I think. Anyway, um, I spoke to this guy. He said I don't know his name. Should that's rude. I should have asked. Um, he said that what they'll do is they'll they'll get the the low loader to come back later today. Uh, actually, no. What, sorry, what he said was. Um, they are going to pick up the far when they drop off the rental the harvester and they can keep the rental harvester until they've repaired the far or found out what's wrong with it or whatever I'm sure it's nothing I did because it cut out as soon as I took it off the lorry but yeah that's really good of them I think I mean I was upset about the far but the excellent customer service at this place and I'm, I'm really pleased about that um so yeah so i'm gonna i'll just i'll just hang around here uh, when the other harvester turns up we'll be good to go i'll see you in a bit Here it is. Look at that. That's a, that is a beautiful harvester. Oh, I'm pleased I'm going to be using that. Brilliant. Right, well, let's get it off. Climb up here. And... Well, this is... A much nicer harvester than mine <laughs> but then it probably costs a lot more than mine as well right uh, if you could just move the lorry over and I can get Well, no, no cutting out on this one so far, as expected. Right, leave it running. All right. There he is. Off he goes with me, harvester. All right, it is time for me to get on with this harvest because it is getting late and I need to get on with it. It's certainly going to be less dusty in here. Right, now that harvester didn't have a chop mode. It only had a... Uh, it only had... a swath mode. I think this one's got a chop mode, so I need to make sure it's in swath, because I definitely want to sell the bales off this field. Yeah, in swath mode. Uh, right, let's unfold. <laughs> that sounds promising. Fire her up. Hmm, that sounds less promising. Ah! I wonder if it's disconnected. Hold on. Ah. Yep, it was the hoses. There we go. Much better. Right then. Oh, much better. OK. 
Okay. I'll tell you what, the cabin is a thing of luxury. Because I can see it's all very dusty out there, but it is not dusty in here. Right, I'm going to send the drone up out of the dust. I'm going to crack on and we're going to get this done. But it's a much bigger capacity than, than my harvester, which we only found out once. But I think this is, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's going really well. I wonder how full the trailer's getting. Oh, okay, so the trailer's getting quite full. We may not be able to fit this whole section into uh, into the trailer. It's this is a really good yielding, really good yielding field. Absolutely brilliant. Right, I'll crack on, get the rest done. Hopefully we'll be able to fit it in the trailer. But if not, I'll do two runs. Right, let's get the last little bit done. That, uh, that shower we had definitely didn't dampen it much because the amount of dust we're getting off this is incredible. Last little bit, and that's the oat section done for this year. I wanted to say field, but it's really not a field, is it? It's just a little section of a, of a field. And this is the uh, the last arable um, the last time I'll be doing any arable on this field. I'm going to convert it back to grass. Oh, that's a lot quieter. Right, I'm going to convert it back to grass. can't see the auger at all. Oh, oh, okay, that's good. That's lucky. Right over the, the trailer. Right, well that was it. It did all fit in the trailer. Now I'm going to park the... Um, I parked the harvester up in uh, under cover over there. We will get the, the oats put away in the silo where they can stay nice and dry. And we're gonna ha we're gonna crack on with baling the um, the straw t tonight to make sure that it if it does rain again, which I don't think there's any rain on the forecast, but if it does rain again, we do the last thing we want is for the straw to get wet and start rotting. And if we can do that. If we can get that done, that would be brilliant. Right, lower the header. Straighten it up a little bit, because that's ridiculous. Uh, okay. There we go. Right. Is that in far enough? It's definitely all under cover. Brilliant. Oh, okay, maybe a bit in too far. Oh well. Uh, right, we'll get that taken over to the silo, drop off the trailer, pick up the baler, and then we'll come back and get the straw baled. Because if it's in bales and it gets wet, it's not too much of a problem. We will we will get it picked up first thing tomorrow. Um, but if well, I say that we may not. We'll see how it. We'll see how that field is. Because if that one's ready to harvest, we're going to crack on and do that. Um, so yeah, we'll go get this put over the silo. 93% of a trailer, that is that is really good. Really good. Uh, really good field this was. 
definitely kept it um, fertilised and everything so really pleased with that yep let's go and get this put in the silo and we'll pick up the baler I'm really enjoying the uh, I'm really enjoying this harvesting really good okay so here we are it needs to go into that grate there so I'm going to open it up it's quite heavy that is uh, right we need to dump it into there fire up the hydraulics of the trailer. Oh, that works beautifully. Look at that. It's overloading it all into there. Oh, yes. That's a good bit of work, that is. Right then. This all this rig turned around. Do you know the brilliant thing about this trailer is, is I can convert it into a bale trailer as well. So as soon as we've bailed the, um, as soon as we've had the other field harvested, and I've used it for that. Oh, oh, one last thing. I mustn't forget to close this. There we go. Uh, yes, as I was saying, I can get this trailer converted into a bale trailer as well. So as soon as we've finished the harvest, I'll back it in there. As soon as we finish the harvest, and we've baled everything up, I'll con I'll put it into the workshop, get it converted into a bale trailer just by taking the sides and the backs off and everything and then um, yeah it will be uh, not easiest to reverse around here due to the lumps and bumps on the ground but let's give that another go that's better at least it's not a dolly trailer because that would be absolutely impossible. He says, messing it up again. It's quite a tight uh, opening though to get the trailer in, isn't it? Okay, let's get this unhooked. Right. Now, does anyone remember where I put the baler? Let's try in here. There we go. Brilliant. Right then, we'll get that hooked up. We'll get back down to the field and we'll make some straw bales. Right then, as it's quarter to six, the, um, the thing I absolutely mustn't forget to do is to pay off uh, £2,000 off the bank loan. So I'm going to do that now before we get started on the bailing. There we go. I've got enough money to last me a little while I think on that. But uh, well, we should make some money off the straw bales. And we do have to, we, we are going to have to save up for that bale wrapper. Because if we want to make some serious money we need to get get some silage on the go. Right then. Let's get started here. 
Right, let's fire it up. Lower the pickup down. And let's crack on. Yep, that's working well. This is going to be a bit of a mixed bale here because we had uh, had a little bit of hay left over in the baler. So uh, yeah, first one out here is going to be a bit of a mixed bale, but that's okay because we can still use that for bedding. Well, it's a struggle to judge when to stop. Right, let's get that one out. Okay. I'm going to uh, crack on and get all this done then. going to be close. Yes, there we go. Pick up this last little bit here and it can go in towards the, the wheat straw as well. Right, turn that off. Well that was successful. Let's just get out and have a look. Right, if I climb up here. Oh yes. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bales. Brilliant. Off this little bit of land. That is that is fantastic. So we'll leave those there until that field's harvested as well. We'll get them bailed up. Um and then yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll take them all and get them sold. We've got plenty of straw. Uh Plenty of straw at the, uh, at the cow farm. We don't need any more for ourselves. So all this, all this is getting sold. I don't know how much money we'll make. Obviously, with the downturn of the economy, but we'll um, we'll make some calls around and get the best price we can for them, uh, and take it from there. That that pasture over there is. It looks fairly abandoned. Obviously, somebody owns it, but it's it's all set up for pigs. And I'll be honest, it's, that's it's pretty appealing. Um, I'm going to have to do a bit more research about that but maybe one day <laughs> obviously no time soon but maybe one day be able to get some pigs on the farm as well right let's climb down watch the exhaust that's hot right uh, I'm going to leave the baler over here and, um, and take the tractor back over to the other farm needs a bit of a wash I think I'll do that before we uh, finish for today it is getting on a bit it's now 7 o'clock so I'm going to leave the baler here ready for, for getting this field done. Um, go wash the tractor and then head home for a bit of lunch. Probably take the tractor home tonight, I think. But yeah, that, that harvester, really pleased with that today. That's done really well. Don't know what's wrong with my other harvester. I will 
well, I say my other harvester, I mean my harvester, because obviously that one is not mine, but they've allowed me to use it for free because of the state of my other one. So we'll, uh, I guess we'll find out some point soon what is wrong with it. And, uh... Oh look, this is where I keep all the New Holland equipment. <laughs> Drop that off there. And that is just about everything that we can do for today. So I'm, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised by the amount of oats that we got off that field. Very, very, very good yield. Uh, I hopefully can expect the same from the wheat field, which means that we will not need all of that for Bueno and for the chickens, and we can get some of that sold. We'll have to have to look into it. Anyway, I think that that will be it for the vlog for today. It's getting on a bit, seven o'clock now. Uh, I'm going to go wash this tractor, put it away, go down for dinner. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride.